Hi, welcome to Citizen Survival Plan. In today's video, we're going to do a little bit of emergency signal programming into your radio. Information is going to be important during catastrophes and or civil unrest. Hearing what is going on around you is going to be very important. This video is going to be how to plug in police departments, amateur radio, repeater signals, and any other registered radio signal around you into either a ham radio or a GMRS radio. Today, I am going to be using this radio here. I will put the name of it on the screen, and we're going to program it up so I can listen to the local fire department or anything else around me. It can also be used with just a typical UV5R, either in the GMRS or ham configuration. To do this, you're going to need Chirp. Now, you can type in the frequencies manually by printing out a sheet of all these radio signals, but I like to use Chirp. That way I can name the channel in the radio and save it. That way I don't have to type in the frequency each time. So all you're going to need is a computer with Chirp on it, a programming cable. Typically, this is what most radios are going to use this two pin connector and it's hooked to a USB. Uh, if you have another type of connector, um, some other radios take this, it's gonna look like this and it just screws onto the side of your radio. Those are the two typical connections that you're gonna see and you just need to order a programming cable. I will link both of these in the video description. Okay, so a quick demo into Chirp and just getting some emergency signals or frequencies plugged into your radio. Um, I'm using a GMRS radio, so no matter what, it's not going to let me um, transmit on these frequencies, but I can listen. And uh, this is something you should do with your radio when you get it, besides from being able to communicate with each other. Um, you're going to want to go to Chirp. That's this right here. And you're just going to want to download Chirp. And you can download it for your computer, Windows 10, or, or whatever you have it. That, I, I can't show you that because you need to do it for your computer. Okay, to get um, started to programming the radio, I have the UV5G Plus plugged in right now, and this is just kind of with Chirp. That radio is probably not in here yet because it's so new. Um, we want to download from radio. This is how you kind of start programming the radio. I've done this before, obviously, so all this came up, but what you would do is pick your brand and pick your radio, in this case, I can use the GM5RH for this radio. The programming is very similar, and it'll allow me to clone this from the radio into Chirp. So this is going to load. And now we can see memories. This is where you're going to want to put all of your emergency radio contacts. We're going to do that now by kind of going over to radio reference and looking at all the signals and frequencies that we could just copy right over into this chart. So what you're going to want to do is just go to Google and simply type in radio frequencies and then simply type in your area. You're going to want to look for a radio reference link. I usually do this. It's just easier to Google it than the Navigate Radio References website. But you want to click on All Identified Frequencies. You want to find the link for All Identified Frequencies and go ahead and click that. This is going to bring up everything. Your amateur radio frequencies, sheriff department, and all kinds of stuff. Now keep in mind, there is a frequency range to what your radio can listen to. So I'll post that on the screen here for a typical like Baofeng radio, ham or GMRS, because GMRS operates in a certain frequency range, but it can listen like a ham radio does. So just keep that in mind. Some of the frequencies, I'll try and find an example here. When they start in like the 800, yeah, like this right here, way at the bottom, this 855, whatever this is, I'm not going to be able to listen to it. The frequency is just too high for that radio. But we'll post it up here so you can see it. Um, let's say I want to listen to the Sheriff's Department, the dispatch. Sheriff Dispatch is right here. So what I'm going to want to do, if, I wanna, if I'm in this area and I want to listen to this, 
I'm just simply going to copy this frequency and I'm going to go down to chirp. It's already installed on my computer and I already started here, but let's just go from the beginning. I'm just going to paste that frequency there and I'm going to give it a name. Uh, it's going to be VAL dispatch, VA law dispatch. You could abbreviate any way you want. Okay, another thing you need to do when you are in Chirp is go to, right now you're in memories and that's where our frequency and where we've named it. But in the radio, you need to go to channel A display type and channel B display type so you can change this. Typically it's gonna be in frequency. You need to change this to name so it actually appears as the name you've named it in Chirp when you write it to the radio. So sometimes in Chirp, that item is not there depending on what radio you are using. I have a couple radios that are weird about that. So if you go to your actual radio after you've programmed it, you can choose MDFA or MDFB. This does the same thing. You can change it from name to frequency to channel. We want to keep it name because we named it in church. And then obviously turn the duplex off so you're not keying it up. But now once I'm done with that, I can click radio and I can upload to the radio because I've already done this. And if you're using the radio that I recommended, you're going to choose the GM-5RH because this radio is kind of new. It's just not quite in chirp yet. Just a quick note. And we're just going to write it to the radio. It's going to give you a warning. We're going to ignore that. And it's going to clone that into the radio. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to show you that on the radio. It's now listed as a channel that I could click on and listen to. I'm probably not going to get anything on it right now simply because I'm just not in that town. But if I were to go there, that dispatch would come up on my radio. So this is the actual radio here. And there's the channel we programmed in. VA Law Dispatch, I abbreviated V-A-L-D-I-S. And then again, we're just gonna roll a clip of just an actual signal nearby here, like a fire emergency signal playing. That way you could just see it working. 339 ALS for you, 6079 Fallfish Court, decreased LSD9 Bravo, 2133. Okay, so if you don't want to use Chirp, you don't have to. I would highly recommend it for this because you can program it into the radio and name it. Put your radio away for a year or two when you forget to use it. When you turn it on, everything is already going to be in there. You won't have to remember how to reprogram your radio. But if you don't want to use Chirp, this is just a brief demonstration on how to just put a frequency into your radio. So we're gonna to wanna to put our radio in VFO mode and my main channel's down here. So this is a ham repeater in that area that I printed out. You can print the sheets out and keep them. There's our frequency on the end. That's what we're gonna to wanna to type into the radio. So let's do that. One, four, six, eight, two, zero zero and it should fill in the rest when it'll estimate it up for you okay so now we have it in the radio we want to save it and that's option 30 that's just the menu option in there and we want to go ahead and save this as channel 45 and we'll just hit save we'll go into channel mode and there's like our channels and there's the last channel in it. It's just going to come up as a number now because I'm not in chirp and I cannot name it like I did this top channel. Thanks for watching. I hope this video was helpful. One note I want to make is some radio frequencies, especially with law enforcement in some towns are encrypted. Some are not and some are. So for instance, the fire and ambulances in my town are not encrypted and I'm able to listen to them, but then the police dispatch is encrypted. So there's some things that I can hear and some that I can't. And in some towns, nothing is encrypted. It really depends on where you are. But getting as much information as possible into your radio is gonna be important. Even if you can just get the amateur radio repeaters to listen to, you are gonna hear information being relayed around you during an emergency. Thanks for watching, we'll see you in the next video.